Alright, so today we are going to do a cucumber review on this cucumber plant right here. Now there's a number of cucumbers growing here, but I know which cucumber I am looking for. And so we want to do a review on this cucumber. And I have a larger one growing here. I have several larger ones. I'm going to let one of them go to seed, but I'm going to pick one of the larger ones for you so you can get a good view of it. It's pulling my plant down anyway and it's tugging it down. That is a beautiful cucumber. And this cucumber is called the Premium Select Cucumber. This is generally a commercial grade cucumber that's sold commercially. But it's also a very good garden variety. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a hybrid type of cucumber. Though it may not be an heirloom because it may have not been around for 80 plus years. So this cucumber variety would be called an open pollinated version. It's a stabilized version of that particular variety of cucumber. So we're going to do a taste test. But generally, I don't like to eat my cucumbers when they get that big. I usually like to eat them when they're about this size right here. There we go. That's where I like to eat my cucumbers. Just like that. So we're going to pick this little one. And this is a good size too for you. If you are looking to do pickling, you want to get your pickle your cucumbers small when they're in the pickle stage uh, for pickling. This is about the best time for pickling the uh, pickled cucumbers. So this is this variety is generally not grown for its pickling effect, but you can use them for pickles and you can use them for regular full-size grown cucumbers. So let's pick this one. And basically what you want to do when you want to pick them is you find where the stem is right here and you just want to put your finger on the stem and pull back just like that. The cucumber will release from the stem and you got yourself a gorgeous cucumber. And this pickle, if you want to call it that, is perfect size for uh, pickling. This is the size that I like to generally eat raw or in pickling. So let's clean off these spines. And there's usually a white haze that gets on these cucumbers. That's not that's not fungus or anything like that. Uh, that's just a, something that the cucumber produces. It's like a white fuzziness or a white powdery effect on it. No big deal. It's not going to hurt you. And you just want to get those spines off the cucumber. And they come right off just by doing this right here. Okay, so now this has been despined and we're ready to do a taste test. All right, guys, what's going on? We are going to do a taste test today on this cucumber here. And this is called the Premium Select Cucumber. Uh, again, it's a commercial grade type of cucumber. It's not an heirloom, but it is an open pollinated variety. So it's not a hybrid, but it's a variety that will come true every year if you save seeds from it and you grow it out every year. So, without any further ado, let's give this a bite. That is very smooth. Very, very smooth. Very crispy. Uh, the flavor it was a little on the mild side for a cucumber, and that's generally what you want when you do pickling. You want to pick a cucumber variety that's kind of on the mild side, so when you pickle it, uh, it picks up all the pickling spices, the flavors of the pickling spices, as it marinates the pickle. So, it had almost a slight sweetness to it. Let me take another bite. This is a very nice cucumber. I really like this one. Um, the flavor is different than some of the other cucumber varieties I've reviewed in the past. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's a good flavor, but it's mild. And it has its own distinctive cucumber flavor. It's it's a um, slightly different in flavor than a lot of other cucumbers I've reviewed. You can look at my cucumber reviews from the past, and you can see what I say about those cucumbers. But this one kind of has a different kind of a flavor. I, I, it's hard to explain. It tastes like a cucumber, slightly. I wouldn't say sweet. I don't want to give you the impression you're going to eat it. It's going to be a sweet cucumber. It's not sweet, but it was almost like it had a sweetness to it. And it was very crispy, very easy to chew. Skins weren't tough on it. Seeds are still small. That's exactly where you want it for pickling. And it was just a very nice, 
a, a pickling effect. Let me take one more bite. Absolutely no bitterness. It has the, the the part that I'm saying that might be a little sweet. I'm saying might be and probably not. Um, is the seed area it has almost like it wants to be sweet, but it's not sweet. So it almost like it wants to be. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it just the smoothness of this cucumber. I I I, I hope and I get enough of these off of here where I can at least make one jar of pickles this year, and then I'll do a video on how I ferment my pickles, how I make my pickle spices, and then I ferment them, and uh, you know I'll do a taste test on one of them. It doesn't take long for them to actually you know make a pickle so it tastes like a pickle. Uh, that part can happen within a few weeks. It's when you want them to become sour pickles and the, the, you let that fermentation process continue on until it, pickles really start to get a soury flavor. And so that's a total, we'll save that for another video. But yeah, these are perfect pickles for pickling. Um, they're a little on the long side, but that's actually good. So if your jars are kind of, if you're using like mason jars, and you could just stack these up around there and you can get a nice fill, maybe possibly, depending on the mason jar you use. Uh, you could probably do a double stack of them all the way around and you can get quite a few of these pickles in there because they're longer and they take up a lot of room. But if you're using those small mason jars, this one row of pickles all the way around will probably fill up a whole size mason jar. So anyway, that was just a quick review on the premium select cucumber. I will offer seeds at the end of the year if I get seeds, but I'm pretty sure I will. And you can pick them up at hrseeds.com. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.